Hello, week three. We're starting from just outside of Trieste, where we left you last week. We've just come to, as you can probably tell, the back end Literally of a shopping end. centre. <laughs> and the industrial side. We've got um, a couple of issues with the bikes. One, most importantly, is the gears on mine. I've been stuck in gear eight for probably 80 kilometres now. <laughs> um, so I've just gone and got an outer cable um, from Decathlon. So I've got to fix that. Danny's pannier is shaking like mad, still it's like really loose. So I've got a couple of pencils, bear with me, to try and strengthen up the little bits on there. A um, couple of bits to do. And then today we're going to cross into Slovenia. Yay! We are right on the border. Um, so within sort of six or seven kilometers, as long as I can get the gears fixed, um, we should be there and check into a hotel. There's not many campsites here. It's so hard. We thought we could like wild camp, and I'm sure we could probably wild camp a bit more than we are, but Italy wasn't so bad because they don't allow wild camping, but they sort of just let it slide. But Slovenia and Croatia seem like there's really hefty fines, so we have to be careful. And also, we sort of want, want to go inland a little bit, and there's just no campsites inland. Like, everywhere is on the coast, obviously that's where people want to be. So yeah, it's just going to be a bit, a bit awkward for the next two countries, isn't it, babe? So my issue is, you can see the bodge I've done. It worked for a little bit. I have to take the tent off. Um, where this gear cable was quite tight on the original handlebars i've now put bigger handle or wider handlebars on and it's just been too tight and it's just ripped the inner cable from the outer cable so i've lost all gears via the hardest it just sort of clicks and doesn't do anything i'm gonna get this cleared off get the panniers off and then take the cable it should out. be a fairly simple job i've never really well i don't really like getting involved in gears or brakes on bikes at all any sort of fine tuning and then yeah, don't fancy it. Got a comfy seat for a bit. Yeah. Oh, a little yellow ladybird. Uh, Where? It's boring. Venomous. One from now we've got is a pair of pliers. Let's try and get that bit off. There we go. Tiny, tiny little screwdriver after all that. Ah? Huh? Probably. Oh, yeah. That might work. Well done. Yeah. Yes. I just don't want to start taking it apart. The need to come off. I can just see this never going back together. Surely they'd make that easier to change the cable. Surely, maybe I'll YouTube it. I don't want to start taking the ratchet system off if that's. Oh, unless I can just put the shroud. I don't necessarily need to change the cable, do I? Or is it not going to be long enough? I've not got a way to cut this. Didn't think that one through. I'm going to see if I can either get some snips or see if they'll cut it for me. Right, Cathlon bike man, cut it for me. I've got a rough guesstimate. Thanks bike ban. There to there. I just hope that that cable, existing cable is either long enough with enough slack to do that. Otherwise I'm going to have to try and take that cable out. I don't know how you do that. I need to learn though. I've been putting off gears on bikes long enough now. Don't lose that. Okay. Oh. If you did, you just drop it. No, I didn't drop it. I dropped something else. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Yeah. Close, but not quite. Shy. What do you mean? I've had to give it a bit, bit too much. The cable. Now I've extended this bit. There's not enough bare cable to come out to connect up. So I'm going to have to take that off. That's good practice, though. Oh, yeah, little slot. Oh, 
just come straight through. <laughs> yes! Yes! We've got gears, eight of them. We're going to Slovenia, we're going to Slovenia. Ready? I'm going to give you some Slovenian facts, but I don't know any. Probably should have done that rather than spend hours on TikTok. One of the national dishes is something with dumplings. Buckwheat dumplings, I think. I had some buckwheat flour once, I didn't know what to do with it. Could have made them. Did you come Crociata Crispo. We might be in Slovenia already. It's hard to tell going for a EU border because there's no actual border per se like a cross in this much or much as they still look like Italian speed signs yeah no I think it still is that's a sp 13 Italian just up here who's gonna win on a race <laughs> Slovenia. We have made it to Slovenia. Slovenia. <laughs> First new country of the trip. Mm -hmm. Very excited. Now we've got to go up like a 200 meter hill to get to our booking.com. So we're both quite dehydrated where we're just messing about in the sun earlier on didn't think about water because the um booking.com hotel whatever it is is so close we're like one and a half k and got steep hill honestly our legs got no energy whatsoever we've had probably a litre of water each day and it's like four o'clock it's not good it shows how important it is okay <laughs> oh my goodness it's definitely not going to show on this camera how steep that is but that is proper steep <laughs> It looks so much steeper in real life. Jesus. I do not need this today. No, 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 no. You okay? Made it. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello, day two. Hello. Just got some modifications to do to the bikes today before we go. Quite off road, actually, more off road than I thought we were going. Sort of mountain passes and hiking trails. Very little road today, if any. Might never see no a towns. Slovenian. Supermarket. Yeah, <laughs> it's like no towns on route or no, mainly villages, if anything. Um, so we're going to try to beef up Danny's pannier, uh, more cable ties on the bottle racks because we've got these now which hold 800 mil. I really don't know if it's going to work, but it might we help. We did try and get a new pannier, but they all have one thing. They were weird, yeah. There's like, it's 35 euros. It's a bit better made than this one, but it's only got one support here, one chunk of support. Um, and the other ones just look a bit weird and the other ones are actually really heavy whereas that at least that's quite lightweight <laughs> that's really gonna help I reckon I'm gonna try to straighten that out a bit here two loaded bikes still takes just as long now to go off-road somewhere ready <laughs> big push today thousand meters up <laughs> and the uphill begins absolutely ridiculous hill to start with <laughs> that 
sudden realisation you might have ah. up <laughs> trying to bike across the Balkans. This is one of the steepest bits. Yeah, but you say that and then it will keep going. No, then it levels off, then we've got another steep climb up. We're right at that oh, beginning. Oh, look at it all. Oh, my God. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> Just keep pushing me. Oh, my God. Yeah, we've got to get up there. <laughs> we have to go get up there today. About that height. Up there. Fucking ah. hell. Fuck, we're going to heaven. I just said to Danny that we've done 680 metres and she's like, oh really? <laughs> and I said, you get distance, like not even a kilometre. She thought I meant up already. Like, no way, wait. We've been in motion for seven minutes. <laughs> it's rock climbing park. I better give it a sign of what we're up against. <sighs> rock climbing. Where are you going? Up the path. <laughs> we get up when we get to the train track. We, it levels off a bit. Oh, I don't make the rules, mate. Hang on, I'll help. Wait right, ready? Oh my god! You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> that was a goner. Oh my goodness. Ready? Uh, I'll go around this side. Okay, ready? Yep. Yeah. What is this? I thought you were making us go up there. I don't know if we go under or over the viaduct. I want you to go on the phone <laughs> on that bit. Ain't no way. Even with a normal bike, surely that is just. Right, should we take the bikes back down then? This ain't gonna work. <clears throat> you wanna check the cave out? Is it? Don't put it on flashing. I didn't mean to put on flashing. Don't make any loud noises. I don't know how much further I want to go in. Hmm? I don't know how far I want to go in. What are you doing? I'm just going to go in. Why? I go in. Good. I'm scared like bats or rats are going to come out. Like don't flash it. I don't mean it. What does that mean? It's got a low battery. I'm getting out of here. We've decided against going up any further, but now we've got to go down, which I probably think is worse. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh! Let me on, mate. No vlog. We're going to take a more sensible path instead. Mm. Looks a bit more achievable, that. I fed up. I've got the I've got the setting set to hiking, not biking. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's taking us a completely different route. Fuck! This is it's saying this route's okay for mountain biking now, what we're doing now. Otherwise it's taking us back down the hill and onto the roads if we switch it across the bike touring. If we depending on what bicycle I change it to, it's changing the route quite drastically. It, this it says we can go this way if we're gonna be mountain biking, which ain't too far off. If, if I quite like paths like this. This then this is mountain biking. How many meters do we go up then? So if we change it to mountain biking. Let's take this along this path. Quite a few nice trails. Come through a couple of villages on roads, I think. Up 1600 meters. A bit more gradual, isn't it? I actually can't believe you. Sorry about that. You did that before when we were looking at Milan. To oh, Venice. yeah. Venice. Don't know what it changed. Now, so 61 kilometers up 1600 meters. That's on mountain biking. Change it to gravel. And it takes you 60k up 900 meters. I like that sound better. Just so saved a thousand meters elevation already. I don't. Yeah, up, like up and down. I'm checking what you're doing in the morning. But then we gotta go back that way where we seem to go back to the car park. Can we do a bit of this and then get onto the gravel? Or is it, is yeah, it we could go up to a different. I think if we. I am not a mountain biker. And neither is this bike, and neither is all the <laughs> shit that I've got. I think it might bike. be quite cool. I'll try it. Try mountain biking for a bit. Well, if you go bike touring, take us right the way back to where we stayed last night and take us on the main roads, which you don't really want to do, do we? So we leave it on mountain bike, we shall we get on mountaineering. Go on, which have I put that one on there? Ain't far off that wasn't, was it? Mountain biking. Let's try that. <laughs> about the zebra to be honest. Why are we going so far downhill? That goes so far downhill. This is a path we just have to keep going up and down up and down. I'm definitely feeling rain. It shouldn't be raining but it's just started and the bikes are packed as if it's not gonna rain so we're gonna have to shuffle them around put the camera away. That's why I hadn't stopped to enjoy it, it's raining. So we've had to swap all the bags around because we had quite a good setup um, where the bags were and the distribution of weight, but like Joe's is the one that is up water, waterproof, so we've got a piece of bread that's like solid. Like rock hard. It's just a just a disaster really. Anyway, roll on the Balkans. <laughs> 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 I think we're a bit delirious. We've literally gone about two kilometres, if that, from where we started this right. morning. Admitting defeat, following the gravel, um, gravel bike route. Just take us up on roads, rather than mountain biking, so it's just going to be too hard. Everyone's going to start falling off and breaking. That's what it's coming off. There ain't no way. Oh, what was that? Right, Minister. Oh, it's scary. We got to go this way. They're looking for someone that's ran across the border, I guess. That was a bit scary. We are probably 7k away from the Croatian border, though. I thought it was a dog walker. And then no, I seen I his badge. I, I, I could see the dog and then I could see what he's wearing. Do you hear the gunshots then? Yeah. Bloody hell. Who do you think we're coming with? Someone from Afghanistan that looked at dog. Yeah. It's sad, isn't it? That's a bit surreal. I did hear some of the borders still a bit tense.
just go careful in case someone pops up. Gee. But I don't know, it's obviously something more than that because they're already within the EU, so someone's on the run. Oh my god, mate, you can't write this, can you? <laughs> I'm going back up the mountain. We are 600 metres above and just about to cross the Slovenian Croatian border. There's the old border patrol bit crossing. So I think Croatia is in the EU. But they've only recently, as in the past year, taken on the Euro and joined Shenzhen Zone. So they did have borders like this running until about a year ago, which is actually quite recent when you think about it. Look at the border. Not even barbed wire, it's razor wire. What does that mean? Whereas I'm ready to blow the end. Scary. There's a restaurant up here, we're praying it's open for starving. If not, we'll stop cooking some pasta. We're almost at the top elevation now, and then we get to go a thousand meters down back to sea level to Rijeka. Maybe today, though, it might get a bit dark, so I can't. Good morning everyone. So we stayed at a booking.com place last night, which we've been doing mostly to be honest, because all the Airbnbs are either really expensive or there just isn't any. Um, we found it really late last night, was cycling the latest we have, it was getting quite dark and our um, lights weren't great or the charge wasn't wasn't max. Um, anyways, so we got here, we stayed, they were lovely, friendly people. We come to leave this morning and turns out that we had to pay at the property, which most of the places just do it on your phone and uh, do it through your card and because it said non-refundable I just assumed that like it already paid on my card um, but come to think of it some of the hotels you do pay when you get to the property anyway he was kind of insinuating it and I was like oh really he was like oh I have this problem all the time so we didn't have enough cash uh, we had like 20 euros short so we had to go get Joe had to go get the cash he went all the way downhill to go get it from where there was meant to be an ATM at Lidl and there wasn't, the ATM wasn't working so we had to go all the way uphill. In the meantime, I was just waiting with the family. He was making sauerkraut. Uh, the nonna was around just staring at me. Very, very awkward and probably not the start we needed for today. But I think we are going to go get some Buick and just work out what we're doing. Either go get a ferry or maybe stay in the city centre because it's meant to be really pretty. What's your thoughts on it? Hungry. You didn't really need that, did you? No, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Definitely need to get more cash out. Yeah. And then the cash was five euro to get out a hundred euro. Love it, there you Love shopping. Oh, fresh out the oven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to explain ourselves? Yeah. So, the initial plan when we got here was to get a ferry from Rijeka here down to split Danny Seam 1. Now, it shows you can do that on Google. When you actually look a bit further, they've stopped that line. Um, there are a couple of other ferries that go to the different islands, which I quite fancied, island hopping. Um, but those are catamarans and they don't allow bikes on. So that's that out the window. Um, what was the other option? A bus, but you'd have to take all the stuff off the bikes, try and wrap them up, and then I couldn't even see an option to pay for bikes to take them on a coach. It's not just that though as well, like even if we wrapped up the bikes which were heavy and I am a bit scarred from Milan, we also had a suitcase which had all of our stuff in mm. originally, but now we obviously don't have that suitcase and we don't necessarily want to buy 
another bag just for a couple of days. Like, no. it's quite wasteful. So, as you can put down by steering wheel, we've picked up a rental car. Now, we want you to close your eyes and just imagine we're on a ferry. Yeah. Because we're going to the same place we were going to go to in Split. Yeah. And then we're going to arrive, get off the ferry, disembark the ferry. Enjoy Split because it's Joe's 30th mm. in about a week's time. And then we've got a very exciting route planned yeah. after Split, which is why we wanted to get that. And also, yeah. you can't forget that we have got a wedding to get to. So, mm. as nice as it is taking our time, we have actually got places we need to be. Yeah. Um, so, we've now and got. And we hurt. I really hurt. <laughs> like I say, we've now got a couple rest days. After yesterday, my legs are knackered, but Danny's knees are swollen. Gives us a couple of time, a couple of days chance to rest in a place we want to rest and actually explore. Um, also, part of the reason we don't want to hang around here is because the accommodation is really expensive for some reason. It's um, like 200 euros a night. I think it's because we're booking last minute and it is Saturday. Mm. But we're listening to our bodies, so when we need a break, we're having a break. But it's not in places, I know nothing's ideal, but we're not having breaks in like cities that we want to explore. We're just having breaks in like random places. So with this chance, we get a couple of days in split, somewhere that we're really excited to see. Um, enjoy it like i said it's joe's birthday and yeah just imagine we're on a ferry crossing now because that's that's what we planned to do originally and it just hasn't worked out like that so um, i don't feel like we've cheated too much no we're gonna do this anyway so we cycled from milan to rieka mm -hmm. and then we're gonna cycle from split as far into greece as we can yeah a little bit cheating but so we're just gonna enjoy our bottle of pee pee and tub of frozen slag <laughs> PB's really nice, by the way. I don't know what slag's saying. What is it? Can't even get into the slag. What is it? Oh. It's like ice cream. You haven't, got a, you haven't got a spoon, have you? It's a bit half, half full, isn't it? I reckon this slag's been in the freezer a bit long. Where is it? Original Lido. Mmm, just vanilla ice cream. Please don't use your finger like that. Finger. Oh, wow, that is not making it. Just... Sorry about that. So, yeah, four hour drive now down mm. to Split, which would have taken us six days on the push bikes, which sounds ridiculous. And we'll catch up with you when we get there, after we get a ferry even. Sorry, it's a four hour ferry. Ferry, we're on a ferry. Good afternoon everyone, welcome to Split in Croatia. We arrived about seven last night. Mm. Uh, we parked the car, our Airbnb hosts are absolutely lovely. They put, they had a space where their car was so we could put the hire car. We took that back this morning to the airport so that's one less thing to the, worry about. No. no, no, no. The ferry. The ferry. <clears throat> the ferry was a little bit rough. Someone couldn't quite handle. I felt seasick. <laughs> A bit rough, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Those twisties, I couldn't go with them. <laughs> the plan today is just going to explore loads of history here. Yeah. Old town, there's an old palace that was like original city walls from an old Roman emperor. Yeah. Um, I think part of Game of Thrones was filmed here, but majority of it was down in Dubrovnik. We, it, we don't really watch it. But obviously it'd be rude to not check out some of the places. This is what it was like Breaking Bad in America, though, and I don't have a clue what I was looking at. Straight over your head, wasn't it? Um, also, there's some communist era buildings and there's an armoured train, but I don't know if you can go into the armoured train without a tour, but there's, yeah, loads of sort of that era. We're very interested in things, that sort yeah. of history. Especially the architecture and stuff as well. Yeah. So we're going to go do that. We had some Burek this morning, of course. I don't want to overdo it because I feel like I'm going to eat this every day. So we're going to go get a local... Shavapi. Shavapi? Original burger. Yeah. Uh, really excited for that. So we're going to go get that now. We're really fortunate, actually, that Airbnb that we're in is literally like 10 minutes from the old town. Mm. So we're going to walk in there now and show you around. Pretend we're on holiday for a bit before reality hits on Wednesday. Because it's your 30th. Not yet, it's not. Like Nearly. In a week. You keep, Danny keeps using it as an excuse for us to <laughs> tend to be on holiday. <laughs> we are on holiday. Yeah. I'm on holiday. So we've got a chivapi, which is bread with the little meatball things. Joe's already eaten his, can't even wait. With, I think, feta, raw onion, and a tomato sauce.
We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know Fun's over, kids. Back on the road. <laughs> That's gone very fast. Had a lovely time in Split. We went in the sea. Neither did we, really. The only reason I got in. Very briefly, but nice and fresh. Looked around. It's quite a small place if you plan to visit. I don't think you need necessarily too long no. here. That's um, cool, yeah. But yeah, really nice. We had a nice fish dinner last night at a restaurant. Um, yeah, I think that's it really. So now we're heading inland a bit more into Croatia and hopefully into next Bosnia. week we will be in Bosnia, mm -hmm. which is very exciting. Bosnia and Herzegovina. And we'll be there for Joe's 30th. <laughs> I don't want, I'm not ready to be 30. Joe's gonna be 30.